There are tens of thousands of companies in Israel, and many are making major headlines. But despite how promising some may look on the outside, no company is ever truly safe. Well, here today with me now in the studio is Brian Blum, the author of Totaled, a new book that goes deep into the story of how one company, Better Place, went from star in the rise to crashing comet. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks for having me. All right, so tell me a little bit, you know, tell me a little bit about Better Place and tell me a little bit about your book, Totaled, here. So Better Place was trying to build the first affordable electric car network using the technology that existed when the company was founded in 2007. So okay. in 2007, batteries didn't go very far. You got maybe 70 miles, 120 kilometers at most. And that's not enough to get past what, uh, what we call in the electric car industry range anxiety, where you're worried that the car is going to mm. run out of juice in the middle of nowhere and there's not going to be a place to recharge it. So Better Place said, we've got two ways to, sol to solve this problem. One, mm. we're going to put charge spots everywhere, in your home, in your office, on the street. And then, this is what was revolutionary, they had a system, a network of 42 switching stations around Israel and you would pull your car into the switching station. It was like a gas station or like a, like a car wash, right. really. The car would go up, a robot would come in, take out your empty battery, put it into the station, put a brand new battery in, and off you would go in five minutes. And that would let, enable you to get anywhere in the country without having to worry about range So, okay, anxiety. so this is a very novel idea. And for 2007, I mean, even I'm old enough to remember that people really went off on this. I mean, this was like, this was the next big thing in, in automotive uh, you know, in the automotive industry. So what went wrong? So, okay, so the, the, the title of the book is Totaled the Billion Dollar Crash of the sure. Startup that took on big auto, big oil in the world. So obviously we know the end of the story. Yeah. Um, a lot of things happened in, along the way, and a lot of people point fingers. They love, it's, you know, two Israelis, three opinions, right? You know, so mm. it was the manufacturer, the car manufacturer, Renault's fault. No, it was the government's fault. No, it was the CEO's fault, the chairman mm. of the board's fault. The truth is, when you start a business, you build a business plan. And in that business plan, you have to put assumptions, how much things will cost and how much, uh, you know, the, the car will sell for and what people will think of it. And along the way, assumptions always change, and then you have sure. to decide whether or not you need to pivot along with those changes. In Better Place's case, almost everything in that plan, the assumptions they made, changed, and Better Place was faced with a conundrum. Do we give up on Israel, or do we stay the course? Oh, man. Yeah. Why did you focus your book on Better Place, though? I mean, there must have been other companies that have crashed and burned. So we have a personal connection to it. Mm. Um, in the summer of 2012, as they were starting to sell the car, um, we were looking for something to do with our kids. It was a summer afternoon, and we were, we, we'd been to the beach, and we'd been to the movies, and we'd gone to the zoo, and so we said, you know what? They have this great visitor center mm. in, near Herzliya, and they're doing test drives with an electric car. And we went in to just do a test drive for fun, just to do something, sure. and we fell in love. We just like, within two weeks, we had put really? our money down and bought the car. Wow. Um, a month later, the CEO of the company, Shai Agassi, was fired. We didn't see that coming. Nine months later, the company was out of business. <laughs> we didn't see that coming. Wow. And I needed to do what I call my due diligence. I need to find out what happened. Right. So I wrote a book. Yeah, I know it's on Amazon. It's on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Book Barnes Depository, Noble. all your favorite all, online booksellers. All the booksellers. online booksellers. All right, thank you so much, Brian Blum, author of Total. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. You're welcome.